Welcome back to DBL. In the 80s, Anna Young ran the House of Prayer. Few people knew what was actually happening behind closed doors. Decades later, we're learning the grim reality of the truth. Here's the story in True Crime Chronicles. A warning to our viewers. A warning to our viewers, excuse me, some of this content may be disturbing. Anna Young had a hard life growing up. She used her faith as motivation to keep going. In 1983, she started the House of Prayer near Gainesville, Florida. The House of Prayer started out as supposed to be a safe haven. It was a place for kids and women to go who needed a place to get back on their feet. Mother Anna recruited more than 20 members over a decade. As people started idolizing or other broken people, people began to look at you as the voice of God. Joy remembers her mother torturing members for their sins. They're willing to lay down and take beatings and whippings and starvations and be in boxes and eat cow manure and everything because they love God so much. They just want to be pure and holy. Court documents revealed two-year-old Katonia Jackson was forced to run in circles and was beaten if she stopped. She ended up dying from a seizure. Shortly after, her eight-year-old brother, John Neal, ended up in the hospital for a severe skin infection. And doctors noticed similarities between him and his sister. It finally prompted an investigation into the house of prayer. And they would go in, they would see a very clean property, a very clean house, very orderly, very organized. Anna was smart. She left no evidence behind. Miss Anna had trapdoors, secret rooms, so she was able to hide children and to uh, mask the goings on there. In 1986, another child arrived named Eamon Harper. His lips were so crusted over that part of his lip, like the crust, touched my finger. Like, you know, it, you know I've given an order. And sometimes, you know, thinking about it, I still feel it. Eamon was later found dead in a closet. It wasn't until 1992 Anna was caught when a 12-year-old member was found in a tub with chemicals and severe burns. Anna was charged with child abuse and fled. After being on the run for years, she was caught in 2001. Anna served some prison time but was released and free again. Joy held on to those gut-wrenching memories for decades. But the day her mother criticized her for parenting... I blurted out, how can you tell me how to raise my kids when you kill two children? In 2017, Joy went to police and told them everything. There was enough evidence to charge Anna for the murders of Eamon Harper and Katonia Jackson. If it wouldn't have been for Joy, calling and having these memories and telling us about it, this would have gone unnoticed, unpunished. Anna was sentenced to 30 years for the two murders, but 42 days later, she died in prison. A twist in the case, but finally some closure for Joy and the victims. What I'm not gonna do though is lie about, you know, the lives that were lost during the process of, you know, all of this, this journey, because I feel like if I live with those, then I'm just as guilty. Earlier, Brandon and I spoke with a reporter who is close to this case. Take a look. We are joined by First Coast News reporter Jocelyn Howard. Jocelyn, thank you so much for being here. Anna Young was an ex-cult leader who tortured and starved her members. Her daughter Joy witnessed it for years and finally turned her in. I just want to know, how did she work up the courage to finally do that? Joy was very young and she grew up just like a lot of these members idolizing her mom, mm -hmm. thinking that her mom was the voice of God. And she even went as far to say that she one day wanted to be like her mom, that matriarch of the house of prayer. Then she got out into the real world and realized that what she saw was wrong. She saw the terrible things that her mother did, but on the other hand, she loves her mom. She made that very clear in our interview. She does love her mom. Wow. And she was going through that, that issue in her heart and her body of 
you know, do I turn my mom in? This is what really stuck to me in our interview. Her exact words were, how can you tell me how to raise my kids when you killed two children? And that sent chills through my body. And <sighs> she said, you. she said, you know, from there, I just needed to call law enforcement. You just mentioned uh, how you did speak with Joy, and did she ever tell you, like, why she thinks her mother did all this? Starting the House of Prayer and moving down to Florida was her mother's way of kind of dealing with her sins and trying to um, redeem herself. And so I don't think really cults always start out, out as, I'm gonna start a cult. Right. It was, it, it started out with great intentions. The House of Prayer started out as a safe haven for people, especially people who couldn't afford where they lived, couldn't afford food, couldn't afford childcare, and they brought these people onto the property. And it was a really great thing. I mean, they were feeding these people. And at the same time though, Anna was feeding them the gospel as well. And these people started looking at her as, Wow, what a holy woman. The story spans decades. It's a really long case. Do you think just in your heart more victims will come forward? You never know. You never know. And I mean, this I actually have had some people reach out to me about this after my story came out that weren't necessarily a part of the House of Prayer, but they knew Anna before wow. the House of Prayer. And um, they were telling me how she was before the house of prayer. And so, I mean, th this wasn't just the house of prayer, you know, th this was Anna Young. Maybe some people will come forward, but I think law enforcement has a, a pretty good grasp right now on who all was there. I'm fascinated to learn more about this case. If you are to visit firstcoastnews.com, the story is also the subject of a new podcast episode. Just search True Crime Chronicles on your favorite podcast player. Jocelyn, great job on this story. What a hard story to follow. Thank yeah. you for all your work. Anna Young's official cause of death has just been released. Now she did die from COVID-19 complications. We'll be right back.